guys, Drudder here. It's the 30th of December today, and as you can tell, I'm out in my car. Uh, I got snow tires on, so this might be rather loud. Uh, they make a lot more noise on the road than a regular tire does. But if you can hear this, then uh, I guess it worked and I'm uploading it. Just driving through Vancouver today. Uh, I'm in uh, Abbotsford at the moment, heading on towards Langley and then through Surrey, New Westminster, Coquitlam, Burnaby, and Vancouver, and ultimately Richmond as I'm headed towards the airport. But, uh, so you may see footage from various parts of the Vancouver area. Anyhow, what I wanted to talk about, obviously because of the title of this video, you can tell, is Ron Paul. And uh, he's doing very, very well in the Iowa uh, race. And as you know, or may not know, Iowa is the first state to decide who they want to put on the ballot for um, the presidential run. And Ron Paul is polling somewhere around 25%, uh, which is tied closely with, um, I believe, Mitt Romney uh, is the other candidate doing fairly well right now. As you know, these polling organizations are not legit. They are quite corrupt in themselves, but at least uh, Ron Paul is polling either at first place or tied for first place with Mitt Romney and various other candidates who have all had their little peaks and, and uh, crashes in popularity over the past few months, while Ron Paul has just been on a steady increase from, well, 0% popularity about four or five years ago when I first started paying attention to now 25%. And he just slowly climbs up that uh, tally, and he just gets more and more percent all, uh, support all the time. I believe that's because Ron Paul supporters, once they've heard the message, uh, which is basically just the Constitution and freedom and ending illegal wars and sound money, uh, once they hear that message, they really don't go back. But it's just getting the people to hear that message is the problem. So he's slowly crept his way up to 25%, and I don't expect that to go down. Uh, you know, they're trying to throw accusations at him that he's racist and so forth. I mean, it's such a silly thing. You ask someone if they're racist and they say no. Isn't that enough? If that's not enough for you, then can't you just go and look at the past 30 years of their service to the country and see that they haven't voted racist, they haven't said anything racist, they haven't acted racist? Um, they support and idolize many people of uh, all different races. So, um, Ron Paul is just not racist. And uh, even if he was, and he isn't, even if he was, I believe that Ron Paul would be able to keep his personal opinions out of his presidency. Just like he said with his, you know, he has religious beliefs and his family has religious traditions and stuff. He said that's not part of his presidency. That has nothing to do with it. So people ask him, you know, do you like abortions or do you not like abortions? And he's, he'll give you the correct answer. He'll give you the answer that he believes, but he will tell you. Um, I don't think that has anything to do with being a president. So this guy is just amazing, a, a breath of fresh air. Um, he's had the same message, the same voting record for 35 years now almost. Uh, he's an incredibly accomplished politician, although he has never acted like a politician in that he doesn't, he just doesn't lie and he's not corrupt. So it's kind of like he's not a politician almost. Um, of course he's not perfect, and he admits that, and no one is perfect. Uh, the newsletter that apparently came out, which uh, had a racist comment in it, and if you look up that comment, it's not actually all that racist. It's just suggesting that there is a high percentage of crime within the black community of a certain part of a certain city somewhere or something. It, it's not like, uh, I hate the N-word or anything like that. <laughs> It's kind of funny that they're trying to use that against him, but they don't really have anything else on him, so... And they're desperate to try and discredit this guy. But, uh, yeah, he's had a lot of steady gains. The media is not happy. Um, the media is pumping other candidates, but sort of haphazardly. You know, one will go up to peak to 30% popularity and then crash down to 5% again the next week. I mean, Newt Gingrich and... Um, Herman Cain and Rick Perry and uh, Romney have all been subject to that. It's just a mess, and none of them have a consistent message. None of them have experience that Ron Paul has, and none of them want to end the wars. None of them care about 
sound money. None of them uh, believe that the Fed needs to be ended. None of them believe in the constitution of the country, which to me means that you should just be out of the running immediately. There should be no questions asked. If you say anything to go against the constitution, you're the one wrong, not the constitution. The constitution is correct. Uh, <laughs> it's just kind of sad that you can say this is the law of the land and then you know nobody actually pays attention to it or believes in it in any way. Uh, so Ron Paul is by far the best candidate for anyone who wants freedom, who wants an end to ridiculous wars. Uh, if you want your government killing brown people overseas, then go ahead and vote for one of the other candidates. But uh, if you vote for Ron Paul, that's a vote for ending those illegal wars that haven't even been declared by Congress, which is supposedly the only way a war can be started in the United States. But anyhow, I've noticed that you can read articles on CNN and other political websites which are supposedly giving you an unbiased view, uh, just you know, pure news and no opinion or anything else, but have a look at those articles. You can read entire articles on the GOP race in the United States and not hear Ron Paul's name, even though he's the top of the poll. They'll mention the second place, the third place, the fourth place. They'll even spend time talking about the sixth and seventh place candidates, which no one knows about. Uh, <laughs> but they don't even mention the name of the person at the top of the poll. It's just there's ways they can get around doing it, and that's what they do. And they, they just don't want him to have any name recognition or any airtime to the mainstream. You have to find out about this stuff through the alternate media, which is kind of disappointing, but uh, it just shows you that the establishment is corrupt to the core. The media has been corrupt in this country and around the world now for at least a couple of decades, and is getting to the point now where it's... You can watch the media to find out exactly what's not the case. It's kind of sad. In fact, it's very sad because a lot of people are making decisions about their lives on what they hear and read in the newspapers and on the TV and so forth. So it's, it's just really sad that people are being misled so badly. They don't have a clue what's going on in the world around them and they're deciding things about their lives. You know, they're deciding to have children or not. They're deciding to, have, to buy a house or not. They're deciding uh, to go to a certain career or not because of what they read in, and hear in the mainstream media and it's not real. It's just, <laughs> it's pathetic. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you can read entire articles and even the photo in the articles about uh, the GOP race will be taken when Ron Paul's back is turned. So you'll show all the other candidates, even the unknowns, faces, but then Ron Paul, you'll see the back of his head as if he wasn't paying attention or something. And you know, that's not the case, but they'll just make sure they get that proper photo or a photo where he happens to be like, you know, scratching his nose or something. And it's like, oh, <laughs> there's that Ron Paul guy. What a freak. What a freak. Wonder how he's polling. Oh, well, we won't release those numbers. Don't worry about it. Yikes. Well, the, the latest tactic is uh, the media is saying if Ron Paul wins in Iowa, which generally means that the person's going to go on to win uh, the whole thing and become president, if Ron Paul wins, then now that rule is just out the window. You no longer pay attention to Iowa. It doesn't mean anything anymore. It's, Iowa is discredited if that ever happens. So they're basically telling the people of Iowa, and well, not basically, they are telling the people of Iowa, if you vote in Ron Paul, uh, you lose all your credibility as the state that supposedly picks the next president because they're the first to report uh, their results. Um, January 3rd is, is the, uh, the vote, only four days away. But uh, Ron Paul in some polls is pulling as high as 50%. He's got more support than every other candidate combined, depending on who you ask uh, and how corrupt they happen to be. So, uh, oh, and one other thing, uh, there's a link down below, rather worrisome. They've just announced that they're now going to count the ballots, all the votes, from this, uh, this vote on January the 3rd in a secret, undisclosed location and no one's going to have any access or third-party verification or anything. So basically what they're saying is we're going to announce the winner. Uh, no one's allowed to know if that if really is the case and that's just maddening to me because that means that you've lost your rights as a, uh, a voter. You no longer have any say in your own life and that's a very scary, scary thing. Uh, 
that's happened. And, you know, I hope this is overturned. There's got to be some judge somewhere that's going to see this and say, wow, we, you know, that goes so against freedom and having a representative government of some kind. I mean, not that we do anymore, uh, but it's become very blatant when they can just say, okay, we're taking your votes and we're going to go and count them secretly. No one's allowed to know where, where they're being counted, where they're being stored, if they're being tampered with. There's no verification of any kind. And you just got to believe us when we announce that, you know, Mitt Romney is the, is the next president of the United States or whatever. It's just so, so scary. So scary. Um, they're very terrified of this Ron Paul guy. And if worse comes to worse, I do believe that he'll have, you know, some kind of heart attack or something like that. And, oh, he was old. I guess he just couldn't handle the stress. <laughs> but anyone who knows Ron Paul or has followed him at all knows that the guy's in tip-top shape. Uh, sharp as attack. On point. And he's ready to leave the United States and hopefully uh, make some changes that are going to uh, turn this world around and get us back on track of having some freedom for the people and not being controlled by tyrannical governments, uh, banking cartels, rich and powerful families, and uh, secret organizations. I'm just tired of it, and I believe that most of the subscribers on this channel are tired of it as well. So, if you're in Iowa, uh, I don't really know what to say to you, but I hope you're going to get out there and vote. And if you haven't given Ron Paul a serious look, please do. Uh, you cannot trust what the mainstream media says. You know that they're lying to you. You absolutely know that for certain, right? There's, there's proof times a thousand. There's no question about it anymore. So if you're going to take what they're saying about Ron Paul at face value, then you're, you're just you're swallowing the lies and you're just taking it and saying, yeah, bend me over and give me another one because uh, <laughs> I'll believe anything you say. So please do your own research. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to any other alternative media source themselves either. Look at multiple sources. Look at multiple opinions and then go and research the facts yourself because they're all out there to be found online and uh, in other sources. So just make sure you do your own research. Otherwise, you're just uh, falling into the same trap that the rest of the sheep are. And you're just believing what you're told and doing what you're told. And you're a statistic, but nothing really more than that. You're basically a vote slave. You're told who to vote for, and then you're uh, sent back to work to make more tax money so that we can kill people overseas and keep the American dream alive. Anyhow, I guess that's about it for today. Um, wow, I did that all in one take and very quickly, so we're only to Langley now. I haven't gone even halfway through the Lower Mainland. But um, maybe you enjoyed the scenery, maybe not. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. <laughs> Signing off, this is Drudder. Vote for Ron Paul! Talk to you soon, guys. Yeah.